Hi, today we're going to be taking you through a short demo of Jive's new Salesforce Case Management Connector. Now this connector is set to release before the end of 2016 and you're currently going to be seeing a bit of a wireframe so some designs are subject to change but all the functionality will remain the same for the first iteration. Now let's start with what the user interface is actually going to be and look like. We're leveraging Jive tiles for the community side of things so that users are actually able to see only the cases they've created. The tiles are dynamic not only in sizing and for mobile responsiveness, but also for permissioning and the authentication with the CRM. Therefore, these tiles can be placed both in private support areas as well as publicly facing groups or spaces, and two different users both looking at the tile will only see their cases. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is that tiles can showcase as many cases as you want, but users are always going to be able to jump into their larger case dashboard. Again, from here, users can toggle between their open cases that are currently being worked by the support rep or all cases, period, that have been open and closed. Now, this allows for a lot of context specific to what the case is, when it was created, what the priority is, and of course, what the current status is. Eventually, in a future iteration of this connector, we also want to allow for not just visibility into your cases, but potentially your colleagues' cases from your same company. Now, one of the things that's going to be very important is communication back and forth with these cases. And again, we really want to make sure that users are able to stay in their perspective system so that the end user or customer can stay in the community without having to leave and the support rep on the Salesforce side can stay in the CRM without having to leave. To do that, we wanted to allow for a comment section inside of each and every case. So the communication to triage the case and get to a resolution as quickly as possible is enabled wherever possible. So the user is able to post within this case, which then feeds into the Salesforce CRM, and that rep can then comment back via the case comment section within Salesforce. This should allow for quick communication between the two parties. Now going back to the case dashboard, part of what also makes this easy for the user is the creation of a new case. So when we go to the Create Case menu, the first thing that the user is actually going to notice is popular content being fed in from the community. These are all public facing documents or discussions that are of top priority to most users based on their visibility, based on their shares, based on the, the views or the comments that they've gotten. But the real trick comes in when I begin to type a case or create a net new case, my keywords will actually lead to an autofiltration to have a far more specific focus on just content to relate it to what I'm searching for. Again, pulling in from existing documentation or existing discussions, that some that have been answered, to deflect the case that I'm about to create potentially. Now, if I find what I'm looking for via one of these links, wonderful, then I'm able to go there directly to that discussion or document and not create my case. However, if I do want to move forward with my case, not a problem, I'll click to create, fill in my subject, fill in my case details, and my priority, and get ready to post my case. Now, once this is signed, I'll see the status, and I'll be able to start communicating via the comment section as it shows up on my dashboard along with my other cases. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the benefit of using the tile isn't just for the interface on the desktop, but also on the mobile experience. All of our tiles being responsive, this will act exactly in the same way, which will allow for me to go to a mobile browser, connect to the community, of course, create questions and search for things, but that also means that I can interact with my case dashboard to track and engage and comment on ongoing cases, as well as from the go create net new cases, which include using the case deflection search just like I would on the desktop. So that is what we are getting set to release at the end of December. There are plenty of things to look forward to in some of our first iterations on this in 2017, including custom fields and attachment capabilities. I look forward to showing you more then. Thanks for watching.